the protocol through James Pendergraft's abortion clinics does call for all infants 22 weeks and beyond to be injected with digoxin in order to ensure a stillbirth rather than a live birth. This shows you that they do know the infant would survive the birth if they weren't lethally injected. In this case and in several other cases that we know of, uh, the abortionist, in this case Harry Perper, failed to inject the infant with digoxin. So naturally, Rome was born alive. Although President Bush signed an act called the Born Alive Infant Protection Act, which gave humanity to the preborn child, especially those who were aborted, uh, it, it afforded them the right to be given the same medical care that a wanted child would receive in the event that they were born alive as a result of an abortion. So naturally, we have this act because it was needed, because infants were being born alive as a result of abortion. And the president, as well as probably most Americans, their conscience would tell them that when a person is alive, born alive, then you need to treat them with respect and dignity just as any other human person. So the, even though that act was in place, it's very routine for abortion clinics to have to deal with infants who survive, especially a labor and delivery abortion. It's, uh, it's very common. Uh, I've ran into patients outside the abortion clinic who've told me they saw their infants born alive. The clinic workers of James Pendergraft themselves have testified to me and also to others that they have seen infants born alive in James Pendergraft's abortion clinics. Because we've been at Orlando Women's Center for 10 years. I believe the clinic workers have developed a begrudging respect for us. They know we care about women. And not only that, they know we care about them. So we've developed uh, somewhat of a, a friendship with the abortion clinic workers themselves. In some cases, we've actually helped them after they quit uh, killing children inside the abortion clinic. So when I have conversations with these women, they, they tell me that they've seen the babies born alive. Uh, I know of one case where they explained that the abortionist who was on call told them to simply run the baby's face under water um, until he was dead. Uh, another case, the baby was put alive into the plastic medical waste bag. Uh, and also, I recently communicated with a woman who worked at Planned Parenthood for three years. And she explained to me that during the training, they were told that when the baby's born alive, to simply wait, because it wouldn't be long before the baby would die. So this is, this is very common.